Gus is getting a full roof transplant. Gus's owners had a roof shipped all the way from the UK. We're gonna install it. We gotta cut out a bigger hole and lots of fun stuff. So let's do it. We're gonna have to cut this center brace out and then there's gonna be a flat one that's gonna come along left to right. And so it's cut here, kind of separate and then they separate the seam sealer, which is this kind of stuff from the top cut here. And then that middle bracket gets removed. So. Okay, so next step, that guy came out. Let me get this back side. Oh, there we go. Got through that enough. Hello. And then we're gonna clear and set and we'll have space for our flat bar. Okay, so that's this side. I haven't cleaned it up yet, but that's up next. So here we are, and Charlie is measuring exactly from this factory bend line in, how much is it? 33. 33 mil, and that's to match right there. Oh, Charlie, we need more for bending. If we cut there, we'd be up to crick. Uh, let's mark this, and then we'll go in 20. All right, so measuring 20 mil in, well, I, can just kind of, I don't need another screw. Okay, so we're looking at the rear cross member here and we made this line one inch in front of, or 25 centimeters, 25.4 centimeters in front of rear cross member all the way across and marked our holes where we're gonna drill one, two, and then three. We should be able to mark this one actually, but we'll mark that guy, it'll be good. Okay. So, to be completely honest, uh, the instructions that came with this are they kind of, uh, I don't know, infuriating? Is that too far, too strong of a word? Uh, they're tough. I feel like we've wasted probably an hour and a half or two hours just trying to figure out where to actually cut. So hopefully, if we get this and get it right, you guys can use this to not be as frustrated as we've been. The kit is amazing, um, and hopefully this will help with some of the documentation for in the future. So. Uh, we are carrying forward this line, the factory line, um, and that's going to be our line all the way to the back here. We're going to cut along 20 millimeters along the inside to fold that down. And then uh, back here, uh, where we did our three holes, we're not even sure why we did that or what the documentation was about for that. Uh, it looks like, and from what we measured with the angle iron, we actually cut this back line along, directly along this rear cross member underneath, which is, you know, an inch on the other side of this, which we're going to cut from the inside. So to start with, we're being conservative. We're cutting less rather than more, just in case we're totally wrong. But we're going to cut along here. Charlie's going to support it while I cut it. You ready? Let's do it. All right, here's Charlie. Getting his measure on to the other side. How are you feeling about it? <laughs> I see you the whole thing there. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Come out. Yeah, that's nice to play it. I might have it. Yeah, oh, I got it. Let's go. Damn. Damn. Yeah. Oh. This is sick. Whoa. This okay. is for the extra tall. This is for the basketball team. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Charlie, you're on camera. Look at that. So much room. Hey guys, I mean, they're cruising. Uh, this is amazing. This is absolutely awesome. Uh, Gus is just crushing it. And I can't wait for you guys to drive it. Uh, he's a little airy inside right now. <laughs> because we don't have the top of it yet. Uh, but that's coming tomorrow morning. So tomorrow morning, talk's going on, and we're gonna do some more drive tomorrow. And uh, we'll see you guys soon.